Hey guys, it's Chris for Thomas Guitars and Basses. I'm sitting here with the one and only Misha Mas. Oh my God. What's up? What's How, up, you dude? How you doing, everybody who's watching? All you guys. We can see you. New guitars. Yes, yes. These are sort of the latest ones. I mean, I guess this one is the newest. Look at this burl top on this. Then you just like saying that burl, burl. Maybe better with an American accent. I don't know. But anyways, uh, you know, these are the uh, Pro Series. So these are our more affordable line, but man, they are probably the best bang for buck guitar on the market. And I think I can say that. I mean, like the amount of stuff that you get at this price point blows my mind. You know, let's start off with like the roasted maple neck and fretboard. I mean, feel how smooth that is. Isn't that, when I felt that for the first time, I was like, okay, I have to have this on all my guitars oh my forever. God. Another thing that I was like that about was the Lumen Lay side dots. You know about these, right? Yeah. So if you play live, man, that is just a godsend right there. And if you don't, it's just like a cool little parlor trick, yeah, right? Because yeah. it just lights up, you can see your way on the fretboard. We've got locking tuners on here. We've got a really nice hardtail bridge. We've got the Jackson MM1 pickups, which I honestly think sound great. Like they're very competitive pickups for this price range. We've got um, the truss rod adjustment oh. right here where it belongs. I'm There's no, that. right? Isn't that, yeah. isn't that where it should always be? Perfect. One of fun fact, after I started doing this, I started noticing that Fender started doing that on their guitars. Oh, yeah. Just saying, yeah, right? Just saying. Just, you know, <laughs> got the same five-way switching as uh, on my, uh, my USA, which makes it actually a really versatile setup because like, you know, obviously you got your bridge humbucker, neck humbucker, and your middle, which I almost never use, but two, is split inner coils, which I use all the time. All it's right. that spanky sort of sound. And then split outer coils position four, which gives you that kind of strat-like fourth yeah. position sound. So you really can extract a lot of tones just with this, you know, this two pickup setup right here. And I've even got my tone knob thing. So this thing, I hate tone knobs, okay. and, but sometimes I use them. But if you have it in the circuit, it actually darkens it. So to activate the circuit, you actually have to pull it up. Otherwise it's out of the circuit completely. Oh, yeah. So your guitar is a little brighter with it down. Nothing, you'll, you'll never be in a weird position or whatever or forget to do it. Oh. Only works if you lift it up and then you can like set it to be all the way off and then just lift it up, tone knob all the way right. off. Jazzy cleans, right? Oh, yeah. uh, so, so when would you activate the tone? Like in which like, situation? Sometimes I do these like really ambient sort of uh, clean like trem pick things. I don't want any pick attack, you know? Okay. I want to like swell. Right. So that's something where I'll just lift it up and then when I'm done, bam, back, right. to, back, right. to, back to normal. Wow. Um, We've got this massive carve here on the back. You know, I like my guitars nice, nice and stratty and pointy, right? And I didn't want the shape to be compromised on the front, but I did want to have a nice carve on the back. So you can see like, kind of like this, um, it, it, it makes for kind of a cool shape, but it means that you always have upper fret access. So tons of upper fret access. It's a bolt-on design because bolt-on just sounds the best. I've always just loved bolt-on way more than neck through a set okay. neck. It just gives you that... The, the it, it creates more spank. Or? It's spank. It gives you that attack, you know, like, yeah, and, and I like a lot of attack and yeah. definition. Yeah. So you have to go bolt-on for that, and that's why this is bolt-on. But we made sure that the carve and, like, the, the heel here was very comfortable for your hand. So you have unimpeded upper fret access, right? And then we've even got our Dunlop dual, uh, dual design strap locks there. So you can use a regular strap or you can... I always use a locking one because, you know, I move around a lot. Um, and the guitar is a basswood body because I also think that that's, like, one of the best sounding uh, tone woods. It's a very ugly wood, but I actually think it sounds fantastic. And all, all my guitar heroes growing up were using it. Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, John Petrucci, Guthrie Govan uses it now. So it's like everyone knows it sounds great. And then you just paint it and you put a nice top on it or you do a solid wild color like this and then you get a yeah. great sounding guitar and a great looking guitar. So That's actually really interesting. Yeah. We did the uh, um, EVH video and it's online already oh he uh, also uses basswood yeah yep. everyone, and it's basswood. everyone knows everyone and, and knows people complain i mean not everyone but many people complain ah oh, come on yeah At because that it's price, inexpensive why it's basswood. inexpensive it's, in i have it on my usa it's, it's not a proper wood but it has that certain mid-range that it has that 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 thing it has that on. and the other thing is it's consistent so when you're building this ah. many guitars you know you look at swamp ash i love swamp ash sometimes when it's light but the weight variance is so high yeah. so you really have to like get lucky you don't know you cut into the tree you don't know what's going to yeah. happen yeah. basswood's really consistent yeah. so this is why you follow your ears not yeah. the hype right yeah. and like this is why so many people have ended up with basswood i get the same thing because i have it on my usa models yeah. Yeah. i have one variant that's uh, basswood one that's mahogany for more traditional but i usually play the basswood one 
ones right. more because right. I just love the attack and the mid range you get out of yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. So it's it's time to forget about that sort of mindset. Don't that follow the hype. Follow yeah. your ears in the feel. Like exactly. the basswood is exactly. one of my favorite tone woods ever. All yeah. right. Cool. So, um, what is the difference between your USA model? Because you told there's there's one, and yep. it's totally different. Well, it, it is and it isn't. I mean, like one of the main things is just where it's built, and you know, labor costs more in the states, so that's why it costs more. It's obviously got some uh, better fitment. It's got my bare knuckle pickups. Right. You know, uh, the mahogany one has the juggernauts, the uh, because it's more of a traditional setup. Right. The basswood one has the Ragnaroks. It's a more aggressive setup. Um, and uh, it's got a hip shot bridge on it. Uh, it's got the same switching system. It's got hip shot locking tuners and hip shot knobs. Um, other than that, it's just the paint jobs. You know, on the mahogany one, you can get uh, a beautiful 5 8 inch maple cap, like flame maple cap. And you also get a flame um, roasted maple fretboard on those, all right. All right. on both of the USA models. So you can get the six and sevens in all five colors. Here, you're sort of limited to the models. Gives you a bit more flexibility. Um, But I think, you know, it's it, we're covering both price ranges. If you want something that's like in the sub 1000 US dollars, I don't know what that works out to euros, like maybe like, you know, like five, very six similar. million euros or at whatever. Least, please. But it's, like, it's yeah. very similar. Yeah, to but, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, but like, if you want something in that range, then this is probably one of the best feature pack guitars. But the USA's are like kind of little works of art, right. you know, and they're, they're priced appropriately. And, you know, they, they have a lot of USA labor and parts on them, but like, It's two different classes of guitars. I play both of them because right. I just think that they they did such a great job with yeah, these. I mean, they feel very similar. And next they line, really do yeah. feel similar. That's the thing that's amazing. Like sometimes I'm like, man, I gotta like step up the game on that USA because this these are so <laughs> good. It, it kind of blows my mind. Um, and you were mentioning something about on the HSS guitar. Oh yeah, this is this is actually the highlight of them. We don't even have it here because it's locked in a case so that you guys can't touch it. We will we'll do some <laughs> B-roll. You get some B-roll yeah. yeah. for it. But um, obviously you can tell I love my, my guitars. So for super strats with humbuckers, I'm covered. I don't really care about any other guitars. So now the only other things I want are guitars that are not that, like strats, tellies, you know, or curiosities, right? Like Teufels and things yeah, like that, yeah. right? So, so, so I've been on this like uh, strat kick, like relic strat, old, old relic strat, kind of a dad rock guitar as we call it, right? And, and I love them, but they're obviously very vintage. They're designed to be like they were in the 50s and 60s. So I was like, well, what if we had one that looked like that, but played like my guitars, has the 20 inch radius, has the, the, the stainless steel jumbo frets and like, you know, the, the cooked maple, uh, roasted maple uh, yeah. flame maple neck and fretboard and all that. That's what we've done. So it's, it's basically like something that looks like it would be, you know, in the right place on the wall next to an old, uh, Fender Custom Shop Strap, but it plays and sounds exactly like these. Wow. So I use it live with a band and it's, I don't know, it's kind of oh, sick. Man. Play really heavy riffs <laughs> with like an old looking Strat. Like, it's I'd a lot of fun. so try that one. Maybe next time. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thanks. Get some B-roll of that. It's really sick. It's blue. It's relic. It's nitro finish, man. It sounds great too. Awesome. It's like, That might be my favorite guitar, actually. Uh, you're teasing it too much. Well, because it's it's, it's <laughs> custom. It's cu it's master built by Red Dave, so oh, it's like wow. you know, it's like a master built custom shop guitar. And it says Jackson on the headstock. Thanks, Fender. Thanks for letting me do that. <laughs> it's got the Fender headstock and everything. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. All right, Misha. Thanks a lot for you know showing all the new stuff. Yeah, man. You guys take it easy. Check out new Jackson stuff. Check out Misha's guitars, and uh, just have an awesome Nam show. Chris, make sure to check out the hashtag to Tonem20. You guys take it easy.